Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a campfire. I'm going to come right here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line up, and I'm going to leave it floating. I'm not going to close it off. Right next to it, I'm going to draw straight line down, straight line over, straight line up. I'm going to leave that one floating and then I come over on the right and I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line up and leave that floating also. Now I come all the way back over here on the left hand side and right about here I'm going to draw one, two straight lines, come over to the next state, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, we're working our way around, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, and I'm going to put one, two straight lines up here on the right and I think I'm going to add no, let's just leave that alone on the left. Now I go back to my sets of two straight lines and at the end I draw an oval. Come down to the next one, draw an oval. Come to the next set, draw an oval. Next set, draw an oval. Next set, draw an oval. Come to the next set, draw another oval. And now this last one, let's draw another oval. Come back to the left, straight lines inside, put a dot and draw a spiral. Straight lines, put a dot, 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 draw a spiral, straight lines, put a dot, draw a spiral, straight lines, put a dot, draw a spiral. Now everybody is going to have a different amount of straight lines and spirals. Now looking right here I can see how I can fill this part in. So I'm going to add a uh, oval, put a dot, spiral and add some straight lines. Jump over, put an oval, put a dot, add my spiral, some little straight lines. Jump over, draw an oval, put a dot, draw a spiral, add my straight lines. Jump over, add an oval, put a dot, draw a spiral, some straight lines, jump over, put an oval, put a dot, draw some straight lines. And right here, see I missed the space. Draw an oval, put a dot, draw a spiral, and some straight lines. Okay, now I come back to the center where we started and I'm just going to draw a curve line up, down, connect. Then I come to the left and draw a curve line up, down. Come on the right, curve line up, down. Come in between, little line, curve line up. They don't have to be regular because that's, you know, fire's not. Little curve line down, fill in. Maybe one little one over here. You're going to have to take a look. And then you know how the flames kind of fire up. We'll just put a couple little uh, curve lines up like it's flaming. Okay. I think that's it. We'll know better when we color it in. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, to color this in, I did a lot of double coloring. So I started off 
with brown, a darker brown. And I just put straight lines and I come down to my bottom part and I just do some straight lines of color just to fill in all the way across. Now if you don't have another brown don't forget your spirals. If you don't have another brown you can use the same brown only color lighter over it which is what I'm going to do but I'm going to use a different color brown that I had in my crayon box. That's why you never throw away your crayons. You never know when you'll need a color. And again double color you go right next to or over the one that you just did. It'll fill in the rest of the color all the way and then lightly color over the whole thing to fill it all in. But you get that dark light dark light gradation of browns going on. So this is the first section you're going to do that and then your flames you're also going to double color. Always start light to dark. On this I'm just using yellow and just putting down some lines of yellow color then I come over it and I use orange and again I'm just putting lines of color and then the last thing is my red and I lightly color over the whole entire thing with red to give it that flame flamed look okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my campfire all colored in you can use this maybe if you were using an old west scene or even for campfire girls okay bye bye